Shalom, and thank you for joining me today for another episode of Living Supernaturally, where we look into God's Word and encourage ourselves in our season of life. This week, we started yesterday with looking at our responses to adversity. We saw yesterday that uh, there are hardships and afflictions we face in our lifetime, but We have hope, we have a purpose because Jesus has promised that He will help us overcome and He's asked us to take heart. Now we do understand is that in our adversities, we need to respond to these adversities. And over the coming few days, we're going to be looking at one of the characters in the Bible in the Old Testament, which is Joseph, and learn from what he went through about how we can respond to adversity. So we see that Joseph had a tryst with affliction through many years of his lifetime. To give you an introduction about Joseph, he was a son of Jacob and Rachel. He lived in the land of Canaan and he was one among 12 brothers and they all lived together. Of all these sons, we see that Jacob preferred his 11th son, which is Joseph, and gave him a long coat of many colors. Now, this coat signifies uh, that he was Jacob's choice of being the future head of the clan. And I'm sure that this made all the brothers very annoyed and jealous. Now, when Joseph was 17 years old, he had... Uh, dreams which he shared with his brothers and both these dreams that he had implied that he would one day be in a position of leadership. Now Joseph at this point absolutely knew nothing as to how he would be groomed up for this position. Now his boasting angered his brothers and uh, they were plotting for his demise. Now, Joseph's brothers were all jealous of him. And Joseph was one day sent by his brothers to look for his, uh, to look on his brothers, to check on his brothers who were shepherds. And when they saw him, they plotted to kill him. And this begins, and this begins the first time or the first taste of adversity that Joseph faced. He was sent for an errand and he knew nothing. He, he didn't even imagine that he would come in face to face with an affliction by his own brothers. The brothers, they act out of resentment and jealousy towards him. And we know the story that the brothers sell him off to Ishmaelite merchants who were carrying spices and perfume. And these guilty brothers, they a paint an animal's blood on Joseph's coat and present it to his father. And uh, Jacob believes that his favorite son is dead. Now think for a moment, what do you think would come across the mind of a 17 year old who suddenly met with affliction, stripped, mocked and sold off to an absolutely unknown set of people? It was sudden, it was frightful his life would have changed in minutes. How easy it would have been for Joseph to be in resentment or anger, but that didn't happen to Joseph. The Bible doesn't record that. We read nothing about Joseph seething in anger or in resentment, but we see that he accepted his lot and rested in the sovereignty of God. Where do, how do we respond? Do we see our adversity as uh, an impediment? Or do we see it as an opportunity to rest in God's sovereignty? So we n- need to see when we respond, we know that God is sovereign and our suffering does not have to be in vain. He meets us with the grace we need, with the strength we need. He is a God of hope and restoration. So in the obscurity of your trials, you can hold on to the truth of knowing that God knows and He is sovereign, He is aware, He cares, and He is powerful, and He will bring about 
the best purposes. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can learn from Joseph's life. Father, help us, Lord, to respond in a way that gives us the faith to trust in your sovereignty, knowing that you are aware, that you care for us, and you know the beginning from the end. May we stand, Lord, in worship at, to you, even as we wait for your love over us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.